Hello everyone. I am back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour. If you would rather have a tour that is you know doesn't have my voice on it then I do have another video where it's just a flip through. I think it's about a five minute video. Uh, this one is going to be a lot longer than that because I have a lot of things to say. <laughs> uh, first off, uh, this is the Moleskin Art Plus in red. I did paint over this and uh, yeah, obviously you can tell. I painted over it and then I put a medium varnish on top of it so it wouldn't like be rough and weird. Also, uh, on what I did on the actual cover is my No Fs Project not e I can't even say a logo, just the image I've been using. And uh, the whole premise of this No Fs project in my mind was to remember why I started liking art. It was to be grateful for the things that I can do, for the things that I can fix and learn, uh, and not to beat myself up about the things that I can't. And so, yeah, that's really... All I have to say about that, I, I just wanted to create a safe space to where I could, I could, uh, you know, do things and not, not be too down on myself because they weren't Instagram perfect. So that's what this is serving for me, or I guess it was what it served for me. <laughs> I really hope other people kind of take this into consideration. I, I know people have been gravitating more towards their sketchbooks and creating styles that you know that they just they wanted to just lay down and that they didn't think too much about but I don't know if there was ever really a name for it and so I created my own name for it so if you if you ever are creating something and you're just like I'm not gonna give enough for this then do the hashtag no F's project hashtag anyway hmm <clears throat> So if you haven't noticed already, I'm actually going to do this style of video almost like a podcast. So it's something where you don't even have to look at the video. If you want to just have something on in the background where someone's droning on and on and on about the stuff that's in their sketchbook, then, you know, keep watching. So this uh, to start off with was the list that I was going to create most of my pieces from that ended up not hap happening uh, after like the fifth piece but or the fifth page but it was a nice it was a nice effort I might come back to this list it's basically just all things that I'm grateful for big small all things that I love and I was going to translate those into images this was the first time I've ever used gouache like any type of gouache and I started to experiment with the M gram gouache which I really love I haven't really used it that much lately but I thoroughly enjoy doing this piece and who doesn't love slicing an avocado and having it just perfectly green and yellow on the inside like that to me is just pure joy uh, this did not turn out that great <laughs> uh, but I love fuzzy socks it looks like a stocking and especially since I was doing this in December uh, you know <laughs> it really looks like a stocking but it was supposed to be like fuzzy socks uh, this page I was experimenting with charcoal and silver leaf I did a drawing for a friend for Christmas and she well actually she never said anything I wanted to try to put silver leaf on top of it so I'll pop up a picture here to show how I did that or what I did that on but I just have never really seen that much information about charcoal with other types of materials and I thought well I'm gonna experiment it before I ruin the drawing and who doesn't love Zelda my goodness well I know a lot of people who don't like Zelda but <laughs> this one makes me happy and sad because I am intolerant to dairy I, I can eat it sometimes but not a lot or it affects me and I really miss movie theater popcorn I, I know it's so bad for you, regardless if you can eat dairy or not, but I just, I miss it and it's so delicious. Uh, I love freshly sharpened pencils and my sharpener. This was, <laughs> this was a line, uh, an experimental line drawing where I just drew a whole bunch of circles over and over and over again. And, you know, just to kind of see what would happen. And this is what happened. 
It was supposed to like emulate flowers and they kind of look more like cinnamon rolls than anything. I uh, really like packages. Like when when you get a package and I don't I don't know. I <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you have done that uh, love languages test or something, but one of my main love languages is gift giving or receiving and and it, that, that sounds so bad when you like say it out loud but basically what it means is that it's something tangible that lets you know the other person was thinking about you big or small what regardless of whatever like it could be a handwritten note and i would absolutely love it or like a handmade card anything that shows that like that person was thinking of you like that's what speaks to my soul so uh that i guess that's kind of what i was conveying with that very simple painting this is <laughs> I forgot this is in here. This is a blind contour study of my cat. <laughs> I mean, I did it several times. So like this was one where I was just drawing his eyes. I really actually like how that turned out and I might make that into a shirt just cause I really love that. Uh, this was his eye and cheek cause he kept moving. And I was like, Winston, really? You can't just hold still for me. That was his face <laughs> kind of. I think this was also his face i'm not sure if i tried to do his body as well but it's definitely his face and i'm not sure what that is that's no idea but i love blind contour studies because you come up with like the most random shapes and things but it's just so fun to look at so yeah actually maybe a mug or a shirt i'm not sure i'm not sure about that one i really want to get better at layouts with words <laughs> Graphic design is is what the professionals call it. I really would like to get more into topography. I've taken one topography class in college and I, I, I did well in that class, but I hated my life while I did it. So uh, not because of the instructor. The instructor is super cool. He even like took us all out for ice cream. <laughs> that was when I could still eat dairy. It's so sad. Uh, but I'm just really bad at it. I, I don't know why. Like some people are just so, so gifted at it and I'm just not. And so I would love to get better. This you can barely see, but it's with my Eno mechanical pencil with the blue lead. And uh, we were traveling to California. We, as in my husband and I. And so I love to do gestures while we're sitting there and like people's facial expressions or like their, the angles of their heads and everything. It's just really good practice. And everyone's moving uh, or well, either sitting there looking at a device or moving around. And so I just really wanted to, I don't know. It's just what I do at an airport. I don't know why I'm over explaining this. And that is Abner. I've never drawn him before, which is really weird. But uh, yeah, that was the first time I attempted to draw him and it was a lot of fun. Uh, this was a quick study that I did for a cousin's wedding card that was accompanied by a gift as well. Oh, got a little bit out of frame. Um, a very good coffee shop that we went to. Her flowers were gorgeous at the wedding, as was the scenery. It was an outdoor ceremony and then uh, the reception was inside. Oh, so beautiful. And it was for Paul or no, I'm sorry for Anaheim. It was really chilly. Like I'm really glad I brought a cardigan because it was cold. Uh, the filling station is a good place to eat. It's something it's not not like the best breakfast I've ever had in my entire life, but my family and I just have a tradition of going to the filling station. And that's a quick sketch of the pier, the donut place we went to. I have a very quick vlog on it's like a by very quick. I mean, it's like two minutes of our trip there so if you want to check that out you can i'm terrible with black paper i know i'm terrible with black paper so let's just move on i plan to practice more with black paper but right now we're just gonna move forward uh this begins my 100 heads challenge and there's not like like there's i i thought about making a separate video of just my 100 heads and I think that's actually what I'm going to do because trying to explain all of this in this video the video would end up being like an hour long this is one of my favorites from the entire series 
oh, excuse me. Oh gosh, I might cut that part out, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it, you know, it's just a really good way to experiment. I will say, if you're a beginner and you're going to do this, which I highly recommend, I highly recommend if you do not feel comfortable drawing portraits, please do this challenge. It's so beneficial, but beware because there are so many clay and sculptures that it's difficult to get the detail that you might want to get. But on the other hand, it might be good as well because you don't have to capture a lot of the detail. <laughs> It's a win, it's a win uh, or lose situation depending on how you look at it. Uh, I really like how her hair wispies turned out as well. But uh, you know, I will have a, a more full video talking about my thought process behind this challenge and what I was wanting to gain and lose from my style because I actually was coming into this challenge wanting to lose a lot of the detail, which sounds really weird but uh i'll explain it more in that video this is just kind of like a quick peek at, not as quick as my flip through with just music but you know i'm not gonna sit here and ramble on because you for anyone who's watched me long enough you know i love to ramble and so i'm just this is why this is i don't again i don't know why i'm over explaining myself to the point where it's Kind of annoying me actually this and i had this in another video this is my favorite drawing of the entire series like hands down my favorite 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 drawing of the entire series i have others that i like like i kind of like how she turned out uh, again kind of minimalistic simplistic so i have other things or other ones that i enjoy looking at but she turned out like looking a little bit like Rihanna and she, I don't know why, uh, <laughs> but I was like, oh, that's a fun surprise there. I actually like this one too. I, I liked how I did her hair in a very sketchy style. And for some reason I like ran out of people. I think I accidentally skipped some or if there was a, an image where there, it had more than one angle of the face. I just went ahead and chose one and I think I was supposed to draw every angle. So that was my bad. <laughs> but then I just picked different YouTubers that I follow and then Amelia Clark. I tried to draw her in a simplistic style. And I have a video up, I think, uh, about this self-portrait as well. And then this was also at an airport. This is when I was going to Palm Springs for a convention. Oh gosh, we'll just skip over this one because this one's just terrible. I don't know what I was thinking with, with that. After a convention, I met up with Abner and we went to Puerto Rico. He is from Puerto Rico, born and raised. And so he obviously knows the area very well. It was wonderful. It was, I think that's my second time having been in Puerto Rico. And every time, uh, well, both times, it's been lovely. Uh, we went to the rainforest this time. Unfortunately, because of Hurricane Maria, some of the major trails are still shut down. But the ones we were able to go on was beautiful. I am not like one to hike, and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And plus, it was cooler up, up there than down below. Uh, this was a study for a painting that I was going to be doing. I was commissioned for. Uh, also studies from a painting or from a commission. Uh, I have not even gotten started on these. It's uh, two card lines that I'm thinking about starting up for a birthday and for weddings or bridals. Uh, more Mr. Winston doodles and sketches. Those are for some things that might be coming down the pipeline closer to Comic-Con. I might be... Uh, this is another card design that I kind of like. It's really not what I normally do, but I really like how some of these like soft colors turned out. So I'll be experimenting with that later. Uh, some uh, blah, 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 
concept and thumbnail sketches for my Thanos drawing. I posted this along with my thought process on Instagram and it is actually still up in my story highlights if you want to check that out. I was uh, working with color on the paper I was going to use for a painting, which funny enough ended up not be not not being this painting because we got our wires crossed on which option she was thinking about. So I did this uh, for no reason. I need to skip over the next page because it's for a project coming up with people that uh, I they're my clients. <laughs> and so I can't show that yet. Oh, what was this? Oh yeah, this was when I was experimenting with inks because it had been so long. So I was experimenting with inks for the Thanos and I didn't know what fine tech I wanted to put on it. So that's, that's what that was. This is for my Donnie Darko painting that I did. And as you can tell, I did none of them. I could not land on anything. And so I took a break <laughs> and I, what was this for? Oh yeah, I had this idea. <laughs> of uh combining what are these called like the not like scuttlefish but it's the ones like in finding nemo with like the light above their head who attract and then it's like the sharp teeth that come down and i thought oh that'd be interesting if it was like it had a mermaid body or fin no it was not it was not interesting i don't know what i was thinking it looks so weird and bad <laughs> so we'll just skip over i actually really liked this concept and I kind of wish I had gone this route, but I went the other route and I did the eye. And I kind of like actually how this turned out too. It's very, like you can't really tell it's an eye, but you can at the same time. It's actually a lot more abstract than my painting turned out to be. And this is for uh, a friend who was wanting something as a tattoo. And I'm I practiced a little bit of calligraphy because I'm so bad and then I put goodbye May because that's when I finished it that is the end of my sketchbook it actually ended up not being as long as I thought I think it's because I didn't talk about the 100 hedge challenge that much so there's that so this one is finished and I will be starting actually I've already started one but that's actually more for inks I have several sketchbooks going. I'm so bad at, at doing stuff like that, but for the, they're for different things. And, and again, I think that's why I wanted to create this one was because the way I usually do my sketchbooks is very compartmentalized. So I have one going for travel watercolors. I have one going for inks uh, that I just started using the Pentallic, which so far, spoiler alert, I'm really, really liking. And that's I think that's why I wanted this one was just to like stop doing that <laughs> like i need to finish one for pete's sakes and my last sketchbook tour was so long ago but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this i uh i need to find like a closing thing but uh yeah i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next video bye oh.